Jack Barner steps in now. Swing and he pops him up. Behind the bag at second. Medina ranges back and he has it for route number two. Kevin Grant will get his first cuts now and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. In the air to straightaway center field. Number 13 is going to have room out there as he puts this away. Number 13 will stand in, and he's been tearing the cover off the ball the past few days as you see his numbers from the last five ball games. Now here's the ball hit sharply toward the right side. And a base hit here to open up the second. And a good at-bat there as that, in fact, stretches his hitting streak out to nine games now. Ryan Rayburn. Ryan Rayburn will stand in now. Just too short of 100 RBIs for the season. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. Desmond Seaver will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. Oh, and he hung him a curveball there, and he's going to live to regret it as this ball is going to wind up well over the wall in left field. A long home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, number 11 for him on the season, as it's now a 2-0 ball game. Number 13 will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. Oh, what a pitch to start the at-bat there. It's nothing in one. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at-bat. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Uh, this is just an excellent pitch right here. Location right at the bottom of the strike zone. And if you don't get him to swing through it, hopefully he's going to hit that ball on the ground somewhere and you'll get ground ball outs. But they'll take that strikeout for out number one. Runner goes for second. And now this is swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Kenny is there and he puts this one away for the third out. Number 13 will be the batter. One for two thus far. Number 13. And here's a ball hit in the air. Grant is there to put this one away, and it's a very quick out to start the fifth. Number 13 will get another crack. One for three thus far. Here's the first offering. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Out in front of the fastball here as this is drilled into left field. That's a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. So it's runners at first and second now with one man out. And at this point, I don't think you could expect anything less than a two-hit ball game from this guy. I mean, he's been as hot as anybody lately. And he comes through again here. Ryan Rayburn will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. But he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Now a slider in the dirt. Good block by the catcher there. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. and And now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul.
Looked like he got fooled on the speed there. Two and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Desmond Seaver will dig in again, and as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two-run homer that was a big blow early on. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. Here's the 1-1. And this is going to be a foul ball. Two men are on with two men out. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. And a gorgeous flip to second, and with that, the side... Eric Price will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. 1-2 pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field. Number 13 is there, and he'll bring this one in. Jeff White will dig in for the third time now. He's struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. Now the 0-1 is swung on and lifted out to straightaway center field. Number 13 is there, and he has it for the out. You know, there's a lot of pressure on the defense to make a play in a game like this. Everything's magnified at this point, so that's a really good job to stay with this ball and make the play. Now a good change up there as this is lifted into the air out towards center field. Number 13 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Four outs to go, and if he's feeling the pressure out there, he sure isn't showing it. He looks like he's just out there throwing a bullpen session or something. Jackie Bradley Jr. will come in now with two away, and to this point at least, so much for having the three, four, five guys get the rally started. Yeah, it's been an important inning for that man out there on the mound. He's held his ground. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the... Number 13 will dig in now. Two hits in four at-bats thus far tonight. First pitch coming. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Yeah, and when that pitch starts off outside, it's much easier to get a better view of it and then just lay off. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Obviously, after a no-hitter, there's not a whole lot of debate as to the identity of our top player.
number 13 will stand in, hoping to just keep riding the hot streak. He's been an exceptionally tough out these last six ball games. Now a ball lined into left field. That's a base hit. And make it an even 10 games in a row he's hit in now as that bat has really come alive of late. Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez will get his first opportunity here. Took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Curveball just misses apparently. 1 and 0. Boy, and after that good first inning, not the same here in the second. He's kind of looking a little shell shocked out there. Like even he can't figure out what's going on. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Runners off for second. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. David Adams will get a shot now with two on and two out here in inning number two. And he drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. Right back to the bender again, and he's got him in an 0-2 hole now. Well, no taking now. He's going to have to swing the bat. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. Oh, this is hit hard towards second. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that'll play one for sure and maybe a second. And both runners will score. It's now a three to nothing ball game. Well, that's an absolute P rod right there. Right over the second baseman's head. That's going to get fielded deep in the alley, but it's plenty deep enough to allow two runs to come in and score on the double. Larry Quiroz will stand in for the first time here. And he pops him up here on 0-2 as this is drifting toward the right side of the infield. And he'll put this away for the second out. Number 13 will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Brock Holt will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. And the 1-1 one -one is in the air now out to center. Number 13 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Man, and not only has he not allowed a hit to this point, but he's also faced the minimum so far. You can't do much better than that. This is sharply hit back up the middle, and the leadoff man is going to reach here. He's got a base hit. Edgar Rodriguez will dig in. He reached on an error his first time. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And they'll get back a run here as they're on the board. It's 4-1. to one. Number 13 will step in. He singled in two trips thus far. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Come on, Get on for it. Here we go. Good biting slider there. Hit on the ground down to third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So it's no runs. Edgar Rodriguez will step in. One for two in the ballgame. Now here's a bounce 
Jason Ball sent back up the middle, and it's going to find its way into center, his second hit of the afternoon. Throw comes back in quickly, so put the runners at first and second now, still with only one away. Devin O'Rourke will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Now a ball lined towards center field. That's in there, base hit. Round third and being waved on hold. And that's going to push across the tying run from second, and we're all even at four apiece. Eric Price will stride in, hopped out and singled in his two trips. Swing and the ball hit fairly well, heading high and deep toward right center. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And both runners are in to score now as they'll take charge here at 6-4. to four. Joaquin Ramirez will stand in. He popped out in his last time. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that's off his leg on the mound. And his rescue attempt here will be too late at first, and now we'll have to see if he's all right. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end. Number 13 will step in, a ground out victim his last time. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. And a rather easy first out. Fellas, as always, a few guys we could have chosen from, but out of everybody, that's the man who stands out in my book. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he Fans came through when it mattered. Number 13 will step in now. Center fielder, number 13. Hey, stay hot, we got no Big swing and a miss at the knuckle curve, strike one. Nobody out, runner on first. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, that's just your classic 0-2 changeup right there. And what he's trying to do there is to get that hitter's aggressiveness to work against him. And he just goes fishing in the dirt for a bad pitch and an easy punch out. And he gets under a fastball here as this is lifted the other way to left center. Kenny will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. William Pollard will get a second shot at it now. He doubled to start out the home first. 
And he goes after a fastball, but pops it up. Back behind second base. Medina backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Number 13 will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Number 13. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Are you crazy, Blue? Here we go, boys. Here we go, guys. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Boy, his control has been outstanding so far. And there's another pitch right on the black. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Very patient here to start the at bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. On to first, and there were two down. Joaquin Ramirez will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And this ball swung on and hit on the ground. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. Number 13. We'll stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Out of play. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. Kevin Grant will get his third shot at it here. He's bounced out and popped out in his previous two trips. And this is swung on and pretty well hit. Out to deep left center field. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Joaquin Ramirez will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Medina ranges back and he has it for out number 2. Edgar Rodriguez will dig in. 1 for 2. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. Throw on to Jambi takes care of him, and the inning is over. Number 13 will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. Price is there, and he puts it away as they're able to... Brock Holt will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. Throw on to first in time, one away. I want you to watch this play here at short. Look at how he picks this ball up. He knows he doesn't have a second to lose, so he makes a quick transition into a throwing motion, gets rid of it quickly, and throws his man out at first. That play is well done. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. There's one. On to first, and he gets out of the jam. A double. Number 13 will stand in one more time, and fortunately for him, he'll get a fifth chance here to extend that hitting streak. Yeah, he hasn't had the same success the rest of the guys have, but that could all change with one swing. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. 2-0. Oh. Swing and a miss on what should have been ball three. Instead, the count goes to two and one. Very difficult to get on top of the pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. 
You just can't. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here. And, fellas, as always, a few guys we could have chosen from, but out of everybody, that's the man who stands out in my book. He's our top. Number 13 will stand in as we show you the numbers for his last eight ball games, and he continues to be as hot as anyone on the ball club. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Oh, and he turns on this fastball and sends it out to deep left field. And I would say he got just about all of that one as this ball is gone, a home run. A solo shot here to left, seven home runs for him on the year now. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Joaquin Ramirez will stand in hoping to turn things around from the loss last night. He was 0 for 4 in that ball game. Here's a shot over the second baseman's head, and that's going to plug the gap. Good for extra bases. Around second now, heading for third. And he is in to third with a leadoff triple. Brock Holt makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Hard hit towards center. In there, a base hit. Number 13 will stand in again. He homered his first time around. Uh, started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Really using that slider to his advantage in this at bat. It's 0 and 2. Down 0 2 after two great sliders. He's got his work cut out for him now. And he goes the other way with the fastball as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. There'll be no trouble for Bradley, and there's out number one. Number 13. We'll see what he can do here with two on and two out here in inning number five. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is... Elvis Rodriguez will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. Now a ball hit high and deep out there to left center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he's not stopping. He's trying for it all. And happy birthday as they allow him to cross with the inside the park home run as he catches his breath to reflect on his good fortune. Number 13 will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so with the same pitcher still out there. Seems he's earned himself another inning. I think that's a definite vote of confidence, but he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that hot hand. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Hey, 
And this is on the ground toward the hole. Throw will be well laid as he reaches it first. And here's a situation where, heck, just make contact. Put the ball in play. You never know. Winds up beating this ball out. Ryan Rayburn will stand in. Base on balls his last time. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and oh. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Now here's a swing and a ground ball. There's one. On to first and they get the double play. Edgar Rodriguez will get another crack. One for three thus far. Here comes a one-two. Runners on the move for second. There's a line drive, and that's going to get down. And now, how far will they send that man from first? And he will pull in the second with a double. Jeff White will stand in now. Hitless to this point, but with a chance to be a hero here. Well, he knows better than anybody in that lineup that one swing could make up for a whole game's worth of struggles. And he reaches out for one and may have chased it as this is skied into the air to straightaway center. And he'll make the catch on the run as he reaches down to Spirit for the second out. And this is all about taking charge out there. That's the center fielder's ball if he can get there. So he calls everybody off and he makes the play Number easily. 13. And that's by him. It's 0-1. And that's right where you want to be with your specialty pitches. If you can start them knee-high and let them dip out of the strike zone, you'll have a lot of success with locations like that one. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. I'll say this. He wasn't going to get his arms extended on that one. There's a big swing, and he gives this one a ride high and deep to right center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Around second, he'll try for third. Pick up the ball. Take the turn. And he is in to third base with a triple. His third hit this afternoon. I'll tell you what, there aren't a whole lot of ballparks in this league where that isn't a home run. I mean, he had to hit that thing a good 400 feet plus, but... At least he'll have three bases to show for it. Ryan Rayburn will dig in with a very important insurance run 90 feet away at third. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And now with that runner on third and one away, you need to stay smart at the plate, realizing that they might be working around you to put you on. So you can't go up there chasing some pitches out of the zone. In time to first and there are two away. Ron Wolf will step in, a ground out victim his last time. Now the first pitch in there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. That's not a bad idea right there. Take a pitch. Make sure you get a good look at him and what he's throwing. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0 oh and 2. Well, no taking now. He's going to have to swing the bat. Oh, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. A classic strikeout pitch there on 0 and 2. It's one he loves going to, but great recognition there at the plate. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three. And Kevin Grant will step in with the tying run on first, so he's got to concentrate and work on getting on base here. Swing and a line drive to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. A dive, but it'll get past him out in center, and this could roll till tomorrow. And that'll score the tying run. We're back to even four apiece. Jackie Bradley Jr. will dig in, needing to find a way to get that go-ahead run in from second base. Well, this is lined into left center, and it's going to get down out there. 
Now a dive, but he can't get there, and this is going to be trouble out there in left center. And the winning run is across the score. Time to hand out Topps Player of the Game honors for this one, and guys, I think we can all agree that this fellow right here deserves...